Hey Globe Mad Geeks, welcome to the beautiful jungle of Peru. I have my survival knife with me which is very important, but the surface of my survival knife is beginning to go brown because it's made of high carbon steel. And the iron in the high carbon steel reacts with oxygen in the air and that produces this tarnish on the surface. Now if I wanted to make my knife shiny again I could use a process called electroplating. I have a question that's come from a Globe Mad Geek in Sheffield and he says, what is electroplating? Well the simple answer is that it's covering a metal object with a layer of different metal using electricity. But how does it work? In order to understand how electroplating works, we need to understand some chemistry. Salt that you put on your chips is actually sodium chloride. And notice that there's a metal part of it. Sodium is a metal, so sodium chloride contains a metal sodium and the metal is present as positively charged ions and there are actually different types of salts as well. Copper sulfate for example contains a metal copper which is present as a positively charged ion. Silver nitrate contains a metal silver and it's also present as a positively charged ion. In fact all different salts contain a metal bit which is present as a positively charged ion. And if we put the salt into water the structure breaks down and the positively charged ions are freed up and they begin to move around in the solution. Now in order to coat this knife in a layer of silver I'd need to stick it into a solution of silver nitrate and then connect it to the negative part of an electrical circuit. The negative side of an electrical circuit means that electrons are moving in that direction from the battery towards the knife. The battery is literally pumping electrons onto the knife. Now electrons are negatively charged and opposite charges attract. So as my knife becomes negatively charged because it's got lots of electrons building up in it and we stick it in a solution of silver nitrate which contains positive silver ions, those silver ions will be attracted to the negatively charged knife. And when they reach the sur surface of the knife they gain electrons and when they gain electrons they become electrically neutral atoms which are coating the surface of the knife. Now the cool thing about electroplating is that we get a really uniform layer all the way across the surface of the knife. Another cool thing about electroplating is that the metal that coats the surface of the knife will be really pure. So this would be a way of making my knife surface into a really pure silver layer and silver is the most shiny element so it would be a beautifully shiny knife if I could electroplate it in silver. Now you're probably thinking that this is a really clever way to make money because silver is an expensive metal. So if I can get loads of silver nitrate salt and electroplate my, my knife in a really thick layer of silver, it'll make my knife really valuable. It will, but there's a problem. Silver nitrate is a very expensive salt and there isn't any way to get around that. So unfortunately I can't get something for nothing, but it would be a really cool way of making my knife nice and shiny. Hmm. If I can find my way out of the jungle, I think I might just do this.